All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how to get something on the frame. So if we run our program right now, we'll see a frame pop up. This is where we left off last time, but there's nothing on it. Now, what you see pop up there is simply uh, they're just, just the exterior. It's basically just an outline of something, but we need to put something on it. One of the most commonly used uh, parts of Java to hang things on windows is called a J panel. So we're going to create a class called paint panel and we're going to extend J panel. So this means that our class receives all of the abilities of the J panel class, which the people who made Java created and they created it to be part of swing to be, uh, and we're going to have to import it to be part of swing and to be something that is um, hung on frames that um, people are able to use to show different things. Buttons, uh, we're going to get to buttons and sliders and stuff. Uh, for our painting window though, we're just going to want to put, be able to click on it and put shapes on it eventually. Today we're just going to get it hanging on the frame and have something show up. So uh, we just need a basic constructor, uh, public paint panel. And eventually there's going to be stuff in there. But let me talk about how uh, this works. So the paint panel or J panels have a very important method called public void paint component. And it takes a graphics G, G object. And uh, this method must be typed exactly uh, in this way. Otherwise, because what we're doing here is overriding a method from the J panel class that knows how to paint something on a panel. So all we're going to do here is say, uh, so we haven't really talked about graphics um, stuff yet. So a graphics tool, this is like the graphics tool is sent to this method. And it is like a little robot, uh, a little computer program that knows how to do uh, very specific things, but it's an idiot because it doesn't have any common sense. It doesn't know how to just like display what you want it to display. So you have to tell it, okay, dip your brush in this bucket and paint on the panel. So we're going to tell it to dip its brush in a color bucket, G dot set color. So G, even though it's just one letter, represents an incredibly fast, very powerful little graphics artist. G dot set color, and you can just say color dot white. One of the things that um, the uh, graphics artist is able to do is G dot fill rectangle. And we're gonna say zero, zero, and we're gonna go to gain or paint window dot width, and I'll explain this in a second, dot width and paint window dot height. So what this is going to do, it starts, this is the X coordinate of its upper left corner, this is the Y coordinate of its upper left corner, and this is the width and height of this rectangle that we're asking it to fill with the color that it's currently uh, working with. We've set it to work exclusively with the color white, so it's going to do whatever follows until we change that color in white. Okay, so now let's set it to G dot set color, color dot black, so that you can see something and g dot fill rectangle or fill oval let's do fill oval same thing upper left corner x upper left corner y uh, give it a dimension a width and a height for that oval and all we're going to call in the constructor is repaint now what repaint does is repaint is a method inside JPanel, and this is not magic. It exists in the JPanel class inside uh, Java. And what repaint does is it calls this method. So it tells the panel, hey, would you just repaint yourself, please? Stuff has changed, or stuff is new, or stuff is just starting, and I want to show it. All right, so that's all well and good. So this panel is actually working at this point, but it's not doing anything. Um, so we need to put it on our window. Okay, so we need to create one here in our window. Private, uh, private 
I don't think it needs to be static, but let's just make it static because we're never going to, uh, it might as well be static. Private static paint panel, the panel. And we're going to make a new one. So the panel equals new paint panel. And then we have to add it to our window before we set the window to visible. So we say the window, to add swing components, you just say the window dot add the panel. And if we've done this correctly, uh, when we start a program now, you should see a black oval and a white background on our window. And there it is. So we now have something that we can work with. And that's plenty for this video.